Today's sunshine note is titled, What is it with these hummingbirds? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or stow away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Matthew chapter 6 verse 26 What is it with these hummingbirds? One feeder with fresh, rich, sugar water nectar hangs on our front porch and another one hangs outside a huge window at the back of the house. Now wouldn't you think that would be plenty for the two? Sometimes three hummingbirds that visit our yard? These tiny birds are so beautiful with shimmery feathers green and ruby red. But in their case it seems beauty is only skin or feather deep. One will sit on a nearby limb looking and waiting. When it sees another one approaching the feeder, he immediately goes into defense mode. He maneuvers his .124 ounce body, less than the weight of a nickel, better than a stealth helicopter, diving and chasing the guest from the food source. Often they are so preoccupied with keeping other hummingbirds from the feeder, either in the air or just sitting on the feeder constantly looking for an invader, that they do not even get a drink for themselves. And the sad part is there is plenty for all. Wait, am I like that sometimes? So busy looking at others and preoccupied with a meaningless, selfish mission that I miss the blessing that God has waiting for me? But there is another amazing event in the hummingbird's life that illustrates God's tender love and mercy and guidance. These tiny little birds migrate every year to Central America to stay warm in the winter. They can travel 1,500 miles, including more than 500 miles non-stop over the Gulf of Mexico to reach their destination. He cares for all his creatures, including me, even with our faults. Wow, what an awesome God! Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or stow away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Matthew chapter 6 verse 26 May God bless you today.